Hello guys, so it's been a while since I talked about my uh, Glock 43. I actually bought it uh, less than a year ago when it just came out. I um, ordered one from a online um, gunsmith and it arrived to me in excellent condition. Um, but what I, want, what, what I want to talk about today is actually um, if you've noticed that when you first bought your Glock and uh, you disassembled your gun, so um, of course the chamber is empty and the magazine is empty, so um, if you disassemble your gun for the first time and you realize there are some residual looking thing like kind of a copperish colored, let me see if I can zoom in. So you see those copper color over here. Um, like at the first, I didn't know what exactly those are. So um, during cleaning, uh, when I first got my gun, it's it feels like overly greased. So I cleaned out the gun and I actually reapplied my own grease. Uh, actually, gun loop, um, this is my favorite gun loop. So it's the um, Slip 2000. And I mix this with the um, Gun Lube Extreme. It's also from the same company and it works extremely well and it's environmentally friendly and it's non-toxic. So I got rid of all the original grease um, as well as those um, like pinkish looking thing without knowing what exactly those are. But um, when I actually read the manual that came with the gun, it said those purplish looking thing are actually um, what they call it. It's actually anti-seize, so when they apply this to near the slide and around the metal area or especially the contacting area, um, it greatly reduces the friction um, between metal to metal contacts. And of course, um, after realizing that I already wiped off those anti-seize, um, I went online and uh, did a search around and asked people what exactly those are and where to get it and uh, likely I was able to find those anti-seize anti in bulk. Um, it's actually made by Loctite. Um, so this is the thing I got. And if you guys want to get this, it's, uh, I'll post the link below. It's on Amazon. It's very cheap and it comes in a huge bottle. And I mean, you can use this for a lot of other applications as well, especially metal to metal contacts. I actually apply those to my Mossberg 500 as well, um, in like around the chamber area and as well as around the, the, the sliding area. Um, and it actually works really well to protect all the metal parts from um, excessive, excessive wear and tear damage. So, um, and to apply it, it's really easy. Um, actually, I'll just show you guys right now. Basically, I I have a whole bunch of cotton cloth that doesn't have too much lint, uh, almost lint free, I would say. So I bought those from the um, fabric store and uh, I just found one piece that doesn't have too much lint when I'm actually like rubbing on it. So it's all good. And basically you just, of course, take your anti seize or anti seize. I don't know what uh, people might call it differently. So I call it anti seize. So just take it out and get just a little bit. It comes really messy. It's like when you open the bottle, it's really messy. But just take a little bit and apply it with a very small amount, like not too much. And if you, after you apply it, Oh yeah, and make sure wear gloves. Uh, I forgot to get my um, gloves on, but um, I think this thing is uh, is fairly toxic. So make sure you wear your gloves. And I might have to go find a cotton swab. Be back. Okay, so I guess it's better to apply this with a cotton swab. So basically, you just. You just swab this area around, you know, the contacting area. So if you see any area that have um, any wear or like the paint is already lost, um, that's probably the area you want to uh, focus on. So um, apply it to those areas. Or originally when you bought the Glock, you open the chamber, you'll see where 
um, the factory applied those anti seize um, stuff. So for me, I just applied fairly generously around all the metal contacting area. And of course, we're done with the slide. Um, over here, some metal parts that might also need some anti seize or anti seize or whatever you call it. So some area that I see wear and tear, I just apply it over there. And of course your, um, let's see, striker area. Any place that have metal to metal contacts. Okay. So after you apply all those, um, it leaves a nice, you know, uh, pink purplish film on top. And of course, you just reassemble your gun and uh, slide it over a couple times gently. Let it uh, soak in really nicely. And of course, um, you'll see some stuff gets, uh, gets out. So basically, I just take another piece and just wipe those areas clean so your hand doesn't get, you know, all the chemicals and stuff. that so it's fairly clean from the exterior um, I'll probably just apply a thin lube to it and this is my um, concealed carry gun which I haven't concealed carried much so it's just being sitting in a drawer but I do need to uh, just re-lube it since I took it out um, and saw all the lubes are kind of dry Oops, too much. So basically all the exterior area, I'm just gonna put a layer of gun lube on so it doesn't rust when it's just sitting in the drawers. And of course, for all the interior parts, you can also just lube them at the same time after you apply the anti seize anti seize whatever um, okay so why don't I do that let's just give the internals a little bit of loop so I think I'll take the slide out the slide is um, it's quite in quite nice condition it haven't rusted or anything and of course inside the barrel it's um, it's also very good a little bit really nice and of course the inside of the slide any other area that you didn't apply um, the anti seize it's good to just apply some lube get everything nicely lubricated so it doesn't get rusted all right and I'm just gonna reassemble And put my gun back in its lock case. All right, so let's see. Just to recap, um, if your Glock have lost all its anti seize and you want to reapply, make sure to get the ah, my hand is yeah close the cap. It's Loctite LB8008. Um, that's a part number, and I'll post a link for Amazon so you guys can order it. Um, I ordered the 8 ounce um, big jar, but I think they have smaller jars available or even larger jars. Um, 8 ounce is probably enough for the lifetime of the gun, um, but it, it also does have an expiration date, so. Um, I think the expiration is about four to five years, so it's more than enough for your gun. But if you have a lot of guns and you want to apply the anti seize to all the metal contacting areas, um, you can use the same stuff. So um, I don't think it's going to do any harm to your gun, and uh, it, in the long term, it actually protects uh, your gun from um, excessive wear. But of course, at the same time, make sure you also 
lubricate your gun with e gun lube so it doesn't get rusted. Um, and that's that's all I want to say in this video. So if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to let me know, and uh, I'll be happy to answer for you guys in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and take care.